whenever you connected to God is a period of unlocking the leadership spirit inside you everything you need to lead physically spiritually financially emotionally materially mentally the wisdom the knowledge the understanding the ability the capability the intuition mention it everything you need to lead will begin to unlock beside you they are already made with you they are already created with you god has already put it inside you that is why he blessed them and said be fruitful multiply replenish fill the earth subdue it the power to dominate every good thing that god has created is inside us and today we are looking at that one of the things that must be paramount to a leader i'm talking about the spirit of a leader the leader god created god types of a leader because there are various kinds of leader amen we have leaders who are oppressors who is an oppressor oppressor is somebody who subject order to undue pressures subject others to what undue pressures i want everybody to be alive and active because when your leadership spirit get unlocked then you will rule your world hallelujah when your leadership gets unlocked the leadership's ability spirit inside you when it get releases you will do well there's no way you will not get better there's no way your life will not be get better there's no way your destiny will not get better there's no way you will not do things better because what you need to leave has been unlocked inside you amen somebody you become a wise person when your leadership skill inside you is unlocked amen somebody because if you don't have leadership spirit inside you your home you can't even lead it because you need a amount of leadership to run your home as a wife you need leadership to run your home there is a whole lot of things you have to do as a wife you have to lead as a wife husband has to lead as husband if you have company you need leadership spirit to run it so the more you unlock your leadership potential the greater you become hallelujah the greater you become amen somebody when you know how to lead and lead in the way god has ordained success is inevitable in your life you end up in success anything you are doing even your job your career your business you will know how to carry yourself in and out hallelujah if you have money and you don't have the leadership skill you will be a ridicule of the society let me tell you when you say they respect people it is not the money they have they respect but the person they have hello have you not seen somebody who have money that you don't respect but have you not met somebody that they doesn't have anything but you have high respect for them because they have been able to unlock the leadership spirit inside them hallelujah in my place if you are looking for money and you meet honor it is better you return because when you get money is the honor you will use to buy amen somebody oppressors are not the type of leader god is looking for people who put pressures on due pressures on other subject people oppress them because of what they have use the grace of god upon their life to oppress other to intimidate other to harass other they use what god has given them to subdue other people to undue pressure that's not the kind of leader we have a tyrant leader who exercise power in a cruel way 
Leaders that exercise power in a cruel way, they are not the kind of leader. The tyranny are not the kind of leader God is talking about. We have wicked leaders. Wicked leaders, they are morally bad in principle or practice. Wicked people, they are morally bad in principle and in practices. They hurt people and they are dangerous. That's not the kind of leader God approves. Amen, somebody. Please listen to me very well. I beg of you, stay alive. Help your neighbor to be alive. Because when you emerge here as a good leader, you will rule your world. If you have money, you don't have the leadership spirit, you will end in disaster. It is the money that will cause you problem because you will not know how to lead it. If you have property, you don't have leadership. It is those things that you have that will put you into a problem. If you have children and you don't even have leadership skills, it is those children that will put you in trouble. Because everybody needs a month of leadership skill to put them. When you take on responsibility without having adequate leadership spirit inside you, that responsibility is what will put you in retrogress. It will push you backward instead of because in a few time everybody will see who you are and know you are a bad person, bad leader. And we have another set of leader which is called the tax master. Tax master. They impose tax and they burden one another. They burden people. They burden people. Those are not the kind of leader God is looking for. The kind of leader God is looking for who have the spirit of God inside them are what we are talking about today. The spirit of a leader. So you ask yourself, by what I'm going to be explaining, do I have a spirit of a leader inside me? When you unlock the leadership spirit inside you, it's one of the spirits that possess a leader. The first thing that possess every leader or somebody that is going far in their life it's called serving or servanthood spirits. Every leader is serving, not they are serving him. Jesus said, if I'm your Lord and your master, watch your feet. You to go and do it likewise to other people. It is the leaders of this world that exercise authority over their own. But the leader of the world, my own kind of leader, they serve people. They serve others. So if you cannot serve, you are not a leader. You serve in your house. You serve. You see, let me tell you, serving does not make you a house boy or house girl or non-important. It shows how quality you are, how important you are, how tolerant you are, how enduring, how nice you are. If you're a man, you don't serve in your house. You are not a leader. Because they should be found you everywhere, putting things in order, helping them and everything. It doesn't mean that because you are a leader, you cross your leg. Everybody must do everything for you. In no time, you bloat. Because you are not exercising, you are not moving, you are just sitting down there. You turn yourself to couch potato in your house. Bring me this, bring me that, bring me this, bring me that, bring me this, bring me that. And because you are a madam, you have opportunity to have house help and you are not doing anything at all. You are not the leader of your house. The person serving is your leader. They call them house help not house lord hallelujah what did they call them to offer help not to be the center of the attraction so when you see somebody that have leadership skill he's the person set in your house in order and other people follow them that's how it is they set their house in order and other people follow them lead very well i frown at some people who you wake up you see it's in hotel that you say you are paying money you have paid for comfort you wake up in the hotel and then you just leave everything the way it is and call wait i come and clean you pay for that service but in your own home where you and your husband are living because of ourselves you just wake up and you get out like that ourselves you come and tie the bed you lie on he said, 
Let me tell you, he said one of the military men in the US was talking about the power of laying your own bed. That if you can wake up in the morning and it's a routine for you that you lay your own bed and set your bed in order, you will be orderly throughout that day. And you'll be orderly in your life. Just ability to wake up, set your bed, lay your bed, lay your pillow, fold the clothes you used to cover yourself nicely. He said, he puts you in order for the whole day. So a leader is always looking for something to do. Whether in their home, whether in their company, whether in their office, whether at the workplace, whether at anything they do. A leader is always in the front. If you are a madam and you have people that are working for you, when customer come, you are the first person to meet them, to talk to them. It is when you are not there, those workers attend to them. If not, how will you they run your business? That is why in these days now, companies spend a lot of money to train front deck staff. If not, they will ruin your business. Because the approach may manner. You that have not sold since morning. And you need a customer to come so that you can pay salary. Ogata, Ogata. The people you are working for, whether you sell or dinner, at the end of the month, is salary they want. But it is you that want destiny. Somebody who wants salary, it must be different from somebody who wants destiny. I want my business to grow. I need more customer. Sales girl does not mind whether customer doesn't come again. Madam, if you don't want to come, go. There are other customers. It is true that you know that if one customer leave you, it's a minus. So you are the one building your capacity. So a leader must be serving. Small money, you see, madam, we go and hide in the corner of the shop. Says men, says women will have finished the customer. Customer walk away before madam will maybe hear noise and will not come. What's going on there? What's going on there? Small money. You have you think that you are not serving anymore. It's in one portion you sit down. Thank God for the soap opera now. Or what did they call them? Yeah. Telenovela that they are showing now. Morning, afternoon, evening. They are always there. So that you sit down and watch your destiny being ebbed away. Watch your life being eroded. Why your business, your career, your home, everything is being destroyed. You sit down, watch it. To be a leader, the first thing is surrender. Mark chapter 10, verse 43 to 45. If you want to be a leader, you must first of all be a servant. Hallelujah. Serving order does not make you low or cheap. You rather increase your leadership ability. But this is not to be so among you. Instead, whoever desires to be great among you must be your servant. I want to be great among you that I am the one who is doing the most work. You ask yourself, shouldn't that be the one to cross my leg and be washing? Washing like Washington, bending like Benjamin, and what? Looking like Lukman. I'm the Ogboro here, I'm the big man here. So you sit down. That is it. Anyone that wants to be what well, great among you must be what well, your servants. A great one must be your what well, servant. If I want to be great, I have to serve. Serve others. Serve people that are above me. Serve people that I'm equal to. Serve people that are below me. Then it's a sign of greatness. The more they serve you, the more they use you to climb ladder of leadership. So you to find who to serve. Serve in your home. Serve in your business. Serve in the house of God. Serve wherever you find yourself. Serve. Some of you think that in, I've seen a lot of bad practices. You go out with somebody, especially you invite them to a party, younger ones, they will not, because they dress some one kind clothes, they will not sit down. And elderly people will be serving them and crossing leg. I just look at them and say, you finish, you don't know. You think you are important as you are sitting down. Somebody who is your mother age mate is serving you. You cannot even... You see, can you imagine you take a girl to the party and to your family house. You sit down. Everybody is serving her, serving her, serving her. And if you finish, you go. What do you think your father will say or your mother? 
that girl you brought here who needs to buy needs to buy cry what does she do only because she just sit down and just be watching a lady came to the house some time ago their family friend and when a small girl when I'm saying a small girl a daddy of 84 years who a lady came to visit us great grandchildren the girl come fianga 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 like that sit on the table because the house is not in the house mommy go and hit the food for her put it on the table mommy 77 daddy is 84 she, the lady will be about 22 or 23 she dressed somehow she balanced on the seat i'm watching i now went out i helped them i went out when the lady finished eating daddy came and carried the plate in front of her to the kitchen and wash she was there oh mommy can i get water daddy moved to the fridge then when i came in the evening then daddy said hey, please come 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 that girl that came here in the morning this is the last day you will see that girl in this house that girl will never unless i die come to this house if she come from the gate i'll tell her to go back she has no respect I said, what do you say? Imagine, daddy was the one serving her. She was just sitting down, collecting the food, collecting the water. That alone eroded everything. I was there one day, come on me. Oh, I want to come and speak. She said, don't come. You know, mommy, straight away, we'll give it to you. I don't want to see you in my house. Don't come. Oh, mommy, what happened? What happened? No, I don't have an excuse with you. Just don't come to my house. I'm not there. Even if I'm there, I'm not there. <laughs> Look at it. So you ask yourself, what does it take? You see that that person cannot be a leader. Because a leader, anywhere you go, even if they invite you to a party, you are not comfortable sitting down. You want to do something. The thing that doesn't concern you, you saw somebody carrying even four drinks. Ah, let me help you with one. This, this, this. That's what makes a leader. That's what makes a leader. Hallelujah. See, give me the verse 44. Anybody that wants to be a head must be a leader. And whoever wishes to be most important and first in rank among you must be slave of all. You want to be the most important, be the one. Let me tell you now, can you imagine you take the lady to your house? You get there. Somebody that is coming there for the first time. You saw mama in the kitchen. You went to the kitchen. Oh, mama, what can I do to do? Ah, go and sit down. No, no, no. I cannot sit down. Where my... What can I do? Then she finished like that. She do her move at another place. She tries. She just give herself job in the house. Immediately, they, everybody started liking her. Even if her character is not good, nobody will know. Everybody started liking her. Ah, that girl is very serviceable. That girl, look at how she's saying. She's just helping everybody. She's just playing everybody. She does. But some of you that want to make yourself important, you are the most irrelevant of others. Because they will sit down quantum like... A Chelsea Rock. The Bible says, if you want to make yourself important, don't you know that most of the people, when they go, people always insult them. Have you not noticed? Ah, sit down, that one, sit down, anyhow, it's not even helping. Sit down, that one is, sit down, that one is. You have become the least important. Because he said, and whoever wishes to be most important and first in rank among you, first in rank, must be what? Slave of all. Slave of all. Anybody that wants to be important. Somebody say Jesus. That's our Lord saying it. And that's why he became so, the first. He came to the world to the form of no. He was head but took the form of no body. And whoever wishes to be most important it must be first. And first in rank among you must be slave of all. Then the verse 45. For even the son of man came not to have service rendered to him he came not to have service rendered to him but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for his death of many he came not to be rendered service to he began to render service will you not tell me jesus is not important because he's serving will you tell me i mean that is it he said the only way to be important is service go order when you serve people, they will love you. When you serve people, they will respect you. 
When you serve people, they will appreciate you. When you serve people, they will be fond of you. When you serve people, they will want you around. They will serve people, they will go extra mile for you. When you serve people, they will defend you. When we serve people, they will promote you. When you serve people, they will give you a better position. When you serve people, they will go extra mile to favor you. When you serve people, they will go extra mile to bless you. When you serve people, they will always recommend you for any good thing. When you serve people, my God, you are on your way to importance. You are on your way to the top. You are on your way to the highest. You are on your way to the high level. The key for promotion is service. And let me tell you this. Serving other does not make you low or cheap. It rather makes you stand tall among others and show your leadership ability. Serving others doesn't make you low or cheap. It rather makes you stand tall among others and show your leadership ability. Make you stand tall among others. You want to talk about somebody with serving. You will love them naturally. You will want them around naturally. You will care for them naturally. You will speak well of them naturally. In the company, people who serve get better promotion than people who are certificate. When you serve, you will attract favor. Service attracts favor. When you have servant full spirit inside you, he attracts favor. I know a lady who was working at the ministry. And the lady was talking and he said, she was a secretary. And she said that she hasn't touched her salary in five years. From where they put it in the bank. When they pay her. She hasn't gone to that bank in five years to touch her salary. They don't ask, how are you living? How are you surviving? He said, grace. I said, what happened? He said, if 100 people visit our workplace in a day, about 60 will give me something, no matter how small. So I received times four of my salary at the end of the month by the way because people because I said what happened they say you know say, I'm just being nice to them if they want something I go extra money to serve them if they need help I go sometimes they have children I carry their children it's not supposed to be my job but to make sure say I'm just doing my work I'm just serving my boss hire me here to make the client comfortable I'm a front desk person so my duty is to make sure that the people are comfortable say I'm just serving he said I've been there before when somebody came to look for my boss went out and after he went went back and came and he said you know what i can't just go without giving you something i only have five cd in my pocket i am only using two cd 50 pesos to get home and i want to bless you with that two cd 50 pesos See, she look and he say, oh, no, 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 no. Take it. He say, no, no, no. My conscience will not let me rest if I go home without blessing you. Please take this two CD 50 pesos. That's the extent. When somebody can slash his transport. Somebody say service. Somebody say service. Somebody say service. He will take you far. He will take you far. All the fianga, fianga behavior we are doing like this. He will only take you down more, 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 more. Because people are watching. People are watching. People are reading your life. People are watching your behavior. People are watching your character. People are watching your attitude. But if you are a servant, oh my God, you will go far. In the name of Jesus. A leader serves others in order to make them, one, comfortable. You serve people to make them comfortable. That is number one. You serve people to make them what? Comfortable. You just want to them comfortable. You just want to let them be comfortable. Sometimes when you go to your friend's house or people's house and their wife make you comfortable, you want to go back again. But some places, when you appear, oh my God, you yourself, you know that this is the last time you are going to step in that place. Because from the ice to the water, they even give money to give you. The key to success is serving, serve people. When you make people comfortable, they may not be able to repay your good today, but they have you in their memory. Maybe one day they will recommend you. Maybe they may not be the one to pay you back directly, 
but they may be able to introduce you to somebody who can pay you back. You read in the Bible about the Syrian layman who was a leper. He brought some slaves from Israelite. Among many slaves, there comes a young girl in them who, out of her service, was able to come out from obscurity into level of importance and relevance. A slave! You will know that he's a servant. She's a servant. That serving spirit inside there, it doesn't matter whether they took her as a slave or does it. What is inside you is inside you. Parent, train your children to be serving. Don't say because you have house set in the house, everything they will be the one washing for them, cooking for them, clothes batting them, do everything. They, they don't do anything. You are growing an irresponsible child. That's what you are growing. Because the day you will not be there, or the day the thing will not be there, or the day they will get married, the husband will not have house help, or the day the thing will not go, when they get to school, you are the one they normally insult at home. Your parents didn't train you. Because they can't do anything when they get to university. When they get to campus, they can't do anything. Secondary school, they will still be cooking for you. But when you go to campus or university, that's when you will now see that your mother did not help you, your father did not help you. You that you think that you suffer, you don't want your child to suffer. You will now spoil the child with money. Let me tell you, you are destroying the destiny of that child. Train your child in the way they should follow, your children in the way they follow. Some of us, the way we feed our children. That's you see some mother, they can load the children with junk food until they become obese. Say the life I didn't enjoy, I want my children to enjoy it. The diet you didn't die early is what you are giving your children to die. Not life. Train your children very well. Let them get involved. That is why, you see, let me tell you, look at it. Some of us, we, God bless us. We have big company. We train our children. From secondary school, go to a brochure. From there, go to university. They are in university. They are there. They never suffer for anything. From university, you bring them. Come and manage my company. You are my child. And they come and they manage the company downward and your legacy get destroyed. And you ask yourself why? And my question is that why not? What did they know in that company that you brought them to come and manage? Why they were in holiday? Did they normally help you in that company? You want them to manage the company, you didn't let them serve. One of the greatest men said, his father is a millionaire, he also is a millionaire. He said, I make my million through myself, not with my father. He said, when we are growing, my father make us work for every chilling he gave us. Every dollar, he said, my father gave us, he make us work for it. He's a billionaire, but he make us work for it. I forgot the name of the man. He's also a billionaire. He said, I make my money through my own effort. He said, because he said, my father status, say, from the time we are grow, he started using us as a messenger in the company. When we are on the holiday, he will tell you, come and work. You'll be working. The manager will send you. The secretary will send you. Every detail. He said, when they say, what is happening? He said, I want you to know how every department work. When they grow again, he make them to do a security. He said, my father make me to be a security. We are part of the security at the entrance. We'll be the open. Say, so that you will know what goes on there. Say, another holiday, our father will make us work as a clerk. We are working in account department. He said, by the time I finish university, I have learned everything. I know what goes on in that company. So when he now became a shareholder, he can run it very well. But your children did not taste anything of your company than after all, they just come and sit as a director. And they direct it to failure. They direct it to destruction. And you say, you have helped yourself. If you are building your children, begin to give them responsibility from a childhood. Let them get involved in how to wash their clothes. Let them get involved in how to cook. When they are cooking, let them be by the side. Okay, you, bring that water for me. He will watch you the way you are mixing the thing. He will watch you the way you are doing things. So that when you grow up, your children, when they get married, they will not be looking for a cooking book to cook rice. A lady called her mother. I said, Mommy, how do I fry egg? See, my husband said they want egg. I have never fried egg before. How do I fry egg? That's why we get story like they say housewife is cooking rice. One cup of rice, one cup of salt, one cup of water. And the rice will be very delicious. 
because you they and especially we the money miss road that we make money at the 11th tower of our life we didn't enjoy money from home so when we now make money we now have this idea what i suffer my children will not suffer it so they have to work for them wash their socks wash their panties wash their bra wash everything so when they grow up they smell because they can't manage themselves Joseph is not there anymore to wash their bum bum. The boys are full of irresponsibility. You didn't train your boy to, to be a man. You train your son to be vegetable. He grow in size. He doesn't grow in brain. And that is the kind of thing you are not going to leave your empire for. The fault is not them. The fault is you. Amen somebody. Somebody say leadership spirit. You say your children are not nice. Do you train them to be nice? When you begin to give your children tax to make your visitor comfortable, when they grow up, they become a nice person and a leader. But you cannot inconvenience your children because of your visitor. They are watching cartoons, so it is you who go out. No, no, let's go out. My children is watching cartoon. Let's go out. My children is watching his favorite movie. Oh, there's no space in the house. You are talking your friend. Oh, well, your auntie called you. I would like to spend a weekend with you. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a place in physical room has been occupied. And the children would like to be inconvenient. And your children are hearing you. So when you are not there anymore tomorrow, you travel. Your auntie now come. They now tell your auntie to go and sleep in boys' quarter. You now say, why are you training my auntie like that? It is you who started it. When you say they cannot inconvenience them. Is it now when they grow, they will let them inconvenience them? So you don't train them to make others comfortable. So there is no leadership spirit inside them. So anything that would make them not to be comfortable, they kick against it. But the leader is always open his arm. Say, no, let's take it. Let's see. make others comfortable. Make life comfortable. Make things comfortable. That's it. Am I speaking to somebody today? Do we have a leader in the house? So, Father, train your children to be leader tomorrow. And these are the things you must instill in them. Make people comfortable. Learn to share. Learn to give. Learn to sacrifice. Learn to live for others. That's what makes you a leader. That's what makes a king. That's what makes a queen. That's what makes a prince. That's what makes nobles. That's why when you see a father in the house who is a king, and he has to choose a prince. He look at the prince that make a subject to be comfortable. A prince that serves the subject. A prince that is after the well-being of the subjects. That's when you say that this one is a good ruler. He will be a good ruler tomorrow. Number two. A leadership spirit in you will get towards making other people happy. You are interested in the happiness of other. Bible says, let no man think of his own highly more than other, but let them think of other highly than themselves. A leader makes others happy. How many people have become happy through you? Leaders make others happy. When you nobody just become a leader one day, it will have been in them, even as children. You see some children, you give them food. Other children are not eating. They hide some of their food. They go and give it to their friend. You two take this and eat. You will know that there's something unusual about this child. Some people, they know their parents can give them money. So they have used their own school fees to pay for another person's school fees and went and cried to their father. Just to make sure the other happy. They live for others. They make others happy. You ask yourself, how many people have become happy through you in the last one month? That what you do puts happiness in somebody's life. A leader lead a life of daily impartation of happiness. Number three. A leader serve order in order to make them fulfill. Fulfill. In order to make them fulfill. That's a leader. Check the story of all the leaders. Begin to read the autobiography of the leader. Oh, somebody get fulfilled through this, through this, through this. Let me tell you, it's not about today, it's about tomorrow when you die. What would they be written about your victory? I said that I would rather at my anniversary 
people write tributes anniversary party let me hear what they are saying about me when i'm alive oh can you imagine you pretend that you died and they now lie here yeah, everybody come and say come and be talking about it what would people be saying about you in reality you go around let's say they said that person died to some people say thank god is no more at least this area will become thank god god kill him what do you think people will say about you he came he leaves and he died that by three word you see that some people that when they die they are obituary it's not that because of the lack of words lack of wanting nobody is writing anything so it's about one page or two page that's the entire obituary nobody wants to say anything about you now what did you do to people you lost in year of Tanzania. Say if you are born and your life did not benefit you or benefit others, it would have been better if you are still bad. If your mother abort you, you die prematurely. It would have been better because you are supposed to impact others. That's why they will say somebody is a leader because ah, through me, oh, this person, thank God for this person, no oh, contribution to my life. That's where I am then. The contribution of this person, that's what I get fulfilled. The contribution of this person, this person give me opportunity and everything. That's what make me who I am today. A leader serve in order to make people fulfill. How many people accomplish one good things in their life through you? Somebody just need 200 Ghana City to set up a business. It's not up to something you take to do lunch at Golden Tulip. One buffet is not up to your one buffet. Have you considered what you can do with one buffet? I was reading about the president of Tanzania when he said they are going to do some independent. He went to the hospital and while he was in the hospital, he saw a lot of people sleeping on the floor in the hospital in Tanzania. And he asked, what happened? The equipment are not working and everything. And at the end of the day, he now said, he fired the boss and he told them he give them two weeks for the equipment to work. And in less than three days, the equipment started working. Not knowing that all the doctors will be diverting patients to their clinic. So the government hospital was, people were just dying and sleeping on the floor. And they now said, they were going to do their independence and they have voted some millions of money for their independence. Out of 325 million of their money that they are going to use for the independence, he said they should use only 25. What are we celebrating independence for? Why people are dying in the hospital? He said they should use only 25 million. Whatever food that one can cook and eat, let us eat that one. After all, it's one day. But use the 300 million of their money to buy bed. So they bought 300 brand new bed for the hospital. Money they could have used for the independence and chop and just go home. They buy 300 bed, they buy other equipment for the hospital, and the hospital came back to life. That's a leader. You, you can find somebody and help them to get to where they are doing. You, you may need one million Ghana CD. Somebody may need 100,000 Ghana CD. Another person may need 200,000 Ghana CD. But let me tell you, somebody just need even 100 Ghana CD. Do you see some people who are carrying oranges in their head? Is it up to 100 Ghana? So have you asked somebody that, what do you want to become? What, how can I be part of it? Do something that will help somebody. To be fulfilled even if you can't give money if you know somebody is in school you can adopt them and say you know what i'll be giving you the extra classes you need so that you can pass your exam it's a part of fulfillment you serve so that somebody can be fulfilled hello somebody number one number four you heard you serve people to make them relax relax do you know that you can just go extra mile to make somebody calm down and relax from their trouble? From their trouble. When somebody comes to you and they are anxious, how did they leave your presence? More anxious or relaxed? Sometimes when somebody is broken down and you meet them, even they may be your great great grandchildren meet. You have to go extra mile. Maybe, oh, don't worry. You give them handkerchief. Oh, take water. You go and buy drinks and give people. You go and buy water. You go yourself. But sometimes there are some people will be talking that see how he's shaking over a lady who is about your grandchild. Look at the way you are running up and down for that girl. Especially our, our sisters can talk. When they see men doing that, 
You don't know as a man, somebody is in trouble. If it takes me to cross to the road to go and buy water, cross to the thing, cut the person carry back, it's not because I'm interested in what they carry under their thighs. No, I am just serving to make them comfortable. Hello. It's not everybody we are nice to that we are interested in them. Men, is it not true? Is it everybody you are nice to that you are interested in? Sometimes you just want to render service. And it's not everybody that your wife are interested in helping to relax that they are. See the way you observe that man. You put two meats inside the thing. Where do you know him for? You look at him very well. You smile to him. You then too must understand that it's not everybody you are nice to that you are trying to woo. You are serving because you are just a servant. Number five. You made them feel loved. You made them feel loved. How many times have you made somebody feel loved? You see, when you serve, you make people feel loved. Ah, I really appreciate this. I'm, 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 I really appreciate it. I feel welcome. I feel loved. I see love here. I see love here. If we begin to serve one another when we come to church, everybody makes themselves feel loved in this church. But we don't serve. People don't come to church three ways. You don't care. Do you even know their name? Do you even know their address? Do you even know their number? Do you even know their number? Do you even know their name? You have been in the church with somebody for almost one year. You don't know their name? Your neighbor, do you know their name? Do you know the name of your neighbor? You don't know their name? You don't know their number? You don't go and greet your neighbor? You don't serve? You don't serve? You don't serve your community? They call neighbors, you should neighborhood watch. You don't participate, you don't serve. Nothing concern you. Soldier go, soldier come. That's what you are doing. But be a servant. Serve your community. Serve your neighborhood. Serve wherever you are. By the grace of God, anywhere I live, I'm area father there. I want to know you. I want to know the boys, the big boys, the small boy, the medium, everybody in that area. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Serve. When you watch me here, we don't do a party here. I go and sit down. With him. I can't even eat until everybody has made fine. They always fight me. Pastor, won't you eat your food? I must be the one to eat last. And you're a minister, you mean a lady, you go and shut yourself there. But what, what have you served the people? They always fight me. I don't let them do their work because when I see that some people have not have some drink and some are having more drinks, I carry the thing. Oh yeah, take you take you take you take. That is how it is. The women are fighting me that I don't let them do their job. But when I see lapses, I have to come in. You are doing your job. I'm doing my job too. You are serving. I'm serving. It doesn't reduce me. Doesn't make me not a pastor if I serve you. If I serve you food, if I serve you drink, does it make me not a pastor? No. It will even make me the kind of pastor you like more than the one that will just go. They won't mind you. They won't look at your face. They will just be there. Then. It is them you who talk about them. I know you. Number six. You make them hopeful. You serve people to make them hopeful. We are mission of hope people. When you serve people, they must feel hope. Hope is restored to their life. And number seven the last one they must feel help on every side you must let them receive help you serve them to feel help on every side philippians chapter 2 verse 3 to 4 let me wrap it up with that philippians chapter 2 verse 3 to 4 let's see do nothing from factional motive through contentious strife selfishness or for unworthy end or prompted by conceit and empty arrogance. He said, don't do things out of it. Instead, in true spirit of humility, lowliness of mind, let each regard the other as better than and superior to himself, thinking more highly of one another than you do of yourself. That's the only way you can serve. When you see yourself as being, I am the head, I am the best. I am the most beautiful. I am the most dressed. I am the this that you out of pride, strife, selfishness, arrogance. He said you will not be able to do anything. You will not be able to serve. 
But when you see others as more important, whether they are young, whether they are nobody, whether they come from low background, and you see them as important more than yourself, you begin to do what? Serve them. He said, is it not the Bible that said this? He said, let each regard others as better than and superior to himself. Thinking more highly of one another than you do of yourself. Hallelujah. Thinking more highly. Ah, that young lady has not eaten. That girl does not eat. You don't do a selective importance. You do general importance. Oh, everybody is more important than me. I'm ready to serve them. So that I'll be served last. But let me now tell you, do you know the secret? If you serve many, it's the law of return. It will return back to you. And before you know, all the people you have served, they end up serving you. The day you will need their help, this one will rise up. This one will stand up. This one will stand up. This one will stand up. Say, hey, that person is not like that. Oh, that man is not like that. That man, that woman is not like that. Let me do my best. Let me. Before you know, you have more help than you need. But if you don't serve, you don't be there by yourself. Let the spirit of servant would come upon us. A leader think about others more than they think about he or herself. Can you now begin to think about others and serve them? Help them serve. Help them serve. Jesus, our Lord and our Father. Go and begin to serve. Let your attitude change from today. Let your behavior change from today. Let your character change from today. Say, Lord, make me a servant from today. I want to be a servant. I want to begin to serve from today. Put in me in the servanthood spirit. Somebody talk to God. Begin to show that character from today. Begin to show that behavior from today. I want to see others as more important than myself. I want to see others as more important than myself. The small one, the great one, the medium one, everybody. I want to see them as more important than myself. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive that spirit now. 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 Spirit to serve. Spirit of a leader that serves. A leadership spirit. Let it be activated in you. Let the leadership spirit be activated in you. Somebody talk to God. Somebody talk to God. Somebody talk to God. Let the leadership spirit be activated in you. Talk to God, Lord. Make me a servant leader. Make me a servant leader. Make me a servant leader. Somebody talk to God. Make me a servant leader, Lord. Make me a servant leader, Lord. Father, make me a servant leader. Make me a servant leader, Lord.